Hi, Montana. Today was day 17 of the legislature. This morning in business and labor, we heard a Senate bill to continue the prescription drug registry. We're starting to see the bills come over from the Senate, and I'll just take a second to talk about that process. If a senator carries a bill, it has to get passed out of the Senate committee. It has to be voted on twice in the whole Senate. Then it has to be transmitted over to the House where it goes through a House hearing. If it's passed out of that committee, then it goes to two votes in the full chamber of the House of Representatives. And then if it's approved all the way through those steps, it goes to the governor's office. If the governor vetoes all or part of it, it's returned to the House, um, either Senate or House, for a chance to vote to override that veto. So there, we're approaching a date here where all of the bills that originated in one House need to have been transmitted to the other so that we can get through this process. Today on the House floor, we had some interesting conversation. We had a lengthy conversation about House Bill 29. It says that if you have land over one acre, then you cannot value it at, you cannot tax it at agricultural value. So there was concern on the House floor that there are a lot of urban farms, for example, in Missoula, and I was wondering about hops growers in the state who might have a 1.1 acre farm, and now they would not be able to uh, have that land valued for agricultural use. Their taxes would be a lot higher. I haven't heard from any of the hops growers. We definitely heard from the urban farmers. It was an interesting conversation, and I hope that it can get resolved. We uh, passed bills regarding taxes, election laws, waiting period for bighorn sheep licenses and vehicle licenses. We had a really interesting conversation on House Bill 186, which allows a person who says that they don't have any party affiliation to just automatically go on to the general election ballot without gathering any signatures or being in a primary. So if you're in a party, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Green Party, Constitution Party, you have to either gather signatures or go through a primary. Um, and you have to gather signatures to be able to go on to the general ballot or the two main parties usually have primaries. And so this would allow a person who just says, oh, I'm not affiliated with a party without any process at all to just go onto the ballot. So imagine if you had a Democrat, a Republican, a Libertarian, a Constitutionalist, a Green Party, and five people who say, oh, we're not in any party at all. They're all on the general ballot. Theoretically, you could have a person represent those 10,000 people in that district who have only received 11% of the vote. Um, it was a really interesting conversation. It barely passed 56 to 44, so it might be something that you want to contact your representative about. House Bill 194 was a conversation about keeping cities from banning texting while driving. It really, for me, boils down to local control. Um, I don't think that we as a state legislature should be telling cities that they um, can't make these decisions for themselves. When we, we will also see bills that try to keep cities from being sanctuary cities or to keep cities from having non-discrimination ordinances. And I think the argument is the same in all of those cases. Um, in local government this afternoon, we heard a subdivision bill, and then we also heard a really interesting bill involving tax increment districts that would basically give school boards and county commissions a vote on whether or not a tax increment district is created. It was basically a fight between county commissioners, school boards, and economic development organizations. There's clearly some issues there about communication um, for the planning of cities and counties, and um, it'll be interesting to work on that some more. So I'm really enjoying the work that we're doing up here. Um, thank you so much for being involved and paying attention, and I'll see you tomorrow.